But first, we are following breaking news. Multiple reports say well known Philadelphia based rapper PNB Rock is dead after a shooting in Los Angeles. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartelia. That shooting happened in southern LA inside of a restaurant, and tonight reaction is pouring in. Our Siafa Lewis is following it all and joins us with the breaking development. Siafa? Good evening, Jess and Yuki. Such is the state of violence in America that even when a young man moves cross country over 2,000 miles away from home, a tragic, violent end to his life still finds him. Philly native Rakeem Hashim Allen of Germantown, who went by the stage name PNB Rock, an homage to Pistorias and Baton Streets in Germantown, was accorded. According to multiple reports, shot and killed in Los Angeles Monday afternoon. Allen and his girlfriend were reportedly eating lunch at well known Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles in LA. His girlfriend posted a picture on one of her social media accounts of their meal along with a geo tagged location. According to the LA Police Department, a suspect brandished a firearm inside the restaurant and demanded items from Allen believed to be jewelry. The suspect shot Allen and ran out the side door to a getaway car. Allen was then transported to a hospital and was pronounced dead just before 2 p.m. Pacific time. This evening, athletes and a local politician are but a few of those extending their condolences. Sixers forward Tobias Harris tweeted, Prayers up, PNB Rock. Former Eagles receiver Tory Smith wrote, You can't even eat chicken and waffles without watching your back. We have to do better. Rest in peace, PNB Rock. And Philadelphia City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson tweeted a photo of himself with PNB Rock and wrote, Rest well, PNB Rock. He moved to LA to chill and get away from his environment and to enjoy and pursue his music career. When I met him at a Stop the Violence rally at Auden Reed High School, he was a very respectful young man. Sad loss for our city. Hashtag peace, not guns. Allen, who leaves behind two young daughters, was just 30 years old. He released his last single titled Love Me Again on September 2nd. Siafa Lewis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Siafa, thank you.